Hello, 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 beautiful people of the internet. My name is Wasco, and we are gonna take a look at the Halloween event from Modern Warfare Warzone. I have actually no clue if it's Warzone only or it's it's like a combination of the two, the Zombie Real. I'm pretty sure, like, if you go multiplayer, that you can also uh, play that one. So, the first of all, uh, this one, the Zombriol, is very fun game mode, very high tense, very, um, you know, a lot of action going on. I'll try to see if I can uh, paste the clip in there. Definitely, you know, it, that's actually like a limited time mode that you would think, hmm, I would more like, you know, I would like to play this a lot more. And that's, you know, often that doesn't happen um, with a lot of these games. There's limited time modes, some more like gimmicks, and um, where you basically, you know, try one or two or four games out and check how it is and then see what's happening. And then you're done with them. Um, you probably never play them again. But this one, I really had a lot of fun. Um, there are some weird mechanics, maybe, that I find, but generally speaking, uh, I've played a few rounds and I was, especially like the late game, when there's like, you know, like all enemies are basically zombies, oof, everything, you know, shit hits the fan and that's, the, I've, I've, it's amazing, it's amazing. Uh, <coughs> so, fantastic limited time mode, especially if you are like me, used to the normal one. But that being said, we are here to take a look at the event. And generally speaking, what I really like about Warzone is like... Uh, Fortnite also did it to a certain extent. Um, they definitely also, in, in you know, uh, basically gave out these uh, tiny rewards with uh, during such an uh, unlimited time event. And the idea is, of course, that you will never get any of these items that are here on the screen. Uh, unless you get them now. Um, the cleaver is probably one of the bigger ones. Uh, it's a melee weapon. I don't know if a lot of people play melee weapons. But, you know, in terms of skins, it's definitely, like, it's it's good, you know. Just to basically open a uh, blueprint. Or basically open a trick or treat box. Speaking of which, if there's one thing that this event really makes me hate. Then it's the... Um, "Quote unquote," uh, what do you call it? The 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 jump scares that they introduced. I don't necessarily mind the jump scare, but you know, as somebody with migraine, um, you know, big flashes kind of hurt my eyes, uh, my head. Uh, so I'm not too happy about that. Um, now, is it is it you know? I mean, it's not that I basically have. A lot of troubles with it as in you know the the pain you know but it's like every time it happens it's like <laughs> and then you can probably ask but hey Welsko why do you play then if you have migraine because one of the lovely things about what I find about this game is that basically nobody uses flashes um, so yeah that makes it a lot easier to play this game if nobody ever uses flashes and you just get stuns because stuns they like they flash a little bit white in the screen, but then you know they shake more. While this is while the jump scare is like something dark and a psh, something bright, like in in, in very uh, microseconds, uh, you know, very fast uh, after each other. I can't come up with words today. I'm sorry. Um, so that's probably the only complaint I have about this season uh, or this event. It's the jump scares. Also, you know, like I can imagine accidents happen from that from those jump scares. Um, so that's why I'm not really not a big uh, fan of it. You know, a little jump scare of like, uh, you know, like a jack in the box um, or something like that, where you like spin the wheel and bloop, and then a puppet comes out. Something like that. I wouldn't mind, but this is like you know flashy. Um, so yeah, not too happy about that one. I don't know if someone's gonna sue them uh, that has ep uh, epileptic seizures, but uh, we will see what the uh, future will bring. Um, but that being said, to focus on the event itself, the um, trick or treating—it's—it's it's like one of those treasure hunts 
whereby you you do all the steps and then at the end you get a reward and generally speaking even with treasure runs it's not about the reward it's not about the reward it's about the journey and the emotions you feel along the journey uh, from that now this is a very small journey this isn't some you know major blockbuster roller coaster emotional roller coaster that will blow your socks off um, no this is just a simple um, you know treasure hunt with some nice rewards such as this blueprint although I feel like the grau as uh, as a weapon has a lot of blueprints going for it but generally speaking I mean it's, it's a good looking skin very nice um, yeah and you know it's it's always nice to get like these blueprints because in the end like I mean uh, to be honest I find this one a little bit cooler but like look at the level of detail of this skin like that's that's a good you know that's a very nice thing to have um, you know and it's better than a simple recolor now arguably things like this you know we've talked about this uh, many for in the previous iterations of the uh, the business behind gaming where we review the battle passes but generally speaking nobody's gonna use it maybe once if you're there lucky the emblems uh, I see people use that and the cleaver I also see people use that. and definitely you know people who play melee they have a nice new skin uh, the watch again also one of those things very nice um, I know CSGO added gloves recently but I still like you know and also another way for shitty ass game mechanics uh, gambling mechanics and we definitely have to make a video about that but very nice watch but the biggest thing uh, in terms of business wise uh, is probably the exclusive store bundles and what do we mean with the exclusive store bundles of course oh this one is also a Halloween themed um, generally speaking when you have these limited time events what companies often do is they try to create skins or you know that are thematic appropriate um, and soul tracer rounds oh that sounds fancy they really are doubling down on the tracer rounds I really really like that um, and the uh, castle castle of example or something we're gonna talk about soon is a very 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 cool um, but generally speaking uh, it's a great way to basically offer cool cos you know have an excuse to offer cool cosmetics to the uh, consumer because it's Halloween and, and during Halloween everybody has to go fancy dress up but nobody can go outside because there's a worldwide pandemic so what do we do we do the fancy dress ups virtually from the comfort of our own home and that's something I really like but you don't have to necessarily uh, you know when I when we go out to a party or something we can just buy whatever you know dress however we want and generally speaking we won't have any copyright issues but the beautiful thing about this these are the licensed skins and generally speaking with the license we simply mean um, you know a piece of paper that says hey you can use my stuff that's what that's what the license would do uh, in this case and in the, the developers you know since they have the license they can make the skins from the popular movie franchises which are of course Sao and the Texas Chain Massacre all horror films and uh, when it's Halloween people watch horror films I have no clue if that's a habit or not but generally speaking uh, Halloween is meant for scary things and thus I mean this this you know the the other one the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre um, I haven't seen this one a lot um, the the you know chainsaw this is the chainsaw gun so that's very nice um, again probably nobody's gonna use the fast melee perk but you know generally speaking when you have like uh, a nice uh, looking uh, loadout like that you know people like you know would use it um, this one is the less popular one first of all personally less appeal uh, I don't know which of the two franchises both Saw or the um, you know Texas Chain Saw Massacre is more popular uh, they're both pretty brutal um, but <laughs> what I really love about this one is the uh, you know like the stickers nobody's gonna use no this is more marketing uh, this is more you know an advertisement putting on your calling card than anything else 
Um, you know, uh, like a little cha uh, keychain, you know, not a lot of people are gonna use it. But, uh, you know, a melee weapon, people might use that. The skin, of course, people are gonna use. Um, you know, uh, personally, uh, you know, I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, it's one ugly ass motherfucker, but like, if I had like a shit ton of money, I would instantly buy like this vehicle for one. Mm, listen to this. Like, imagine, you know, like somebody driving towards you and they're basically is doing that the whole time and like, you know, driving you over. Oh, that's, you know, that's, that's how you create content. That's how you have some fucking fun with the game. Um, but generally speaking, and of course we have the, uh, another trace rounds for the MP5, one of the most popular guns still, even despite its, uh, uh and dismembered effect. So that's tracer and dismembered. So all in all, what uh, what I really like about uh, Call of Duty's approach uh, compared to Fortnite's is that they that they work with packages. Now Fortnite is you know doing that more and more, but generally speaking, like um, a skin in Fortnite would be two thousand V bucks, a legendary one. While you know it's twenty four hundred. So generally, you know, it's four uh, uh, bucks more if we go for the 100 points for one dollar conversion. But here you get a lot, you know, you get weapon skins, uh, weapon blueprints. So if you haven't unlocked the all the attachments, you can play with it. And then, you know, the trace rounds, the skin, the horn, and then all this filler stuff. Because at the end of the day, like, um, every, you know, all the things here... This is filler content, like the real stuff is these four. And then the uh, weirdos like me, um, they kind of, you know, have some very specific things that they throw a lot of money at if they if they want to. And that's of course the, the, the uh, uh, you know, the top right. Um, I can't even draw properly. <coughs> can't. Okay, never mind. You get the point. So that's the more of the thing, and if we, you know, let's take a look at it, the the campfire, the saw, of course, from the, you know, if you know anything about horror movies, you know, uh, you should probably know the saw movies. I have no clue how good they are, to be honest, don't care. Then again, here we have the all the filler content. I mean, because in essence, like, think about it for yourself. How many of you would, you know? use this on a regular basis now these I'll admit it these are a lot better than what you generally or typically get but generally speaking I do not think that you know the masses are gonna use it what I will say this uh, you know top part oof oof that's where the money's at um, I've definitely seen uh, multiple times the paint train ski uh, skin for the Big Bertha so that's very nice uh, this is probably more was on focus. Um, I don't think you know the melee. It's the same with the cleaver and the meat grinder from the other one. It's iconic, but it's not that special, you know. You know, not a lot of people are gonna use it. And throwing, excuse me, throwing knives for example. Not a lot of people play with throwing knives. The model six eight. Uh, 168 I didn't know you know the the pump shotgun multiplayer people probably uh, you you know have some use for it but you know the Amex oh the Amex is probably the best thing that uh, the best gun that this uh, has extremely good in warzone uh, that gun like extremely good and what beautiful part about it is you know now it has trace rounds. Now, for some reason, I have a feeling like I don't know if if you know it's it's <laughs> a feeling like they 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 missed a part of like the skin, you know. Like I get that basically it needs to be quote unquote shaven off, you know, a more rustic look instead of a more, you know clean factory new battle tested as a I remember Kansai, but you know it looks a little bit off. Then again. The beautiful thing about the blueprints is what they, you know, the, like, they basically, uh, if you paste the camo over this, like, uh, you know, gold or Damascus or whatever, it 
the, the, you know, it kind of a little bit recognizes the blueprint and um, its, it's uh, visual form at the end is dependent on which blueprint you selected. I think that's how it works. It, there's definitely some uh, variation on it. So that's, you know, that's what I really like because at the end of the day, the trace rounds are probably the main feature in this case. Um, because, you know, they look fancy as can be. And Billy, this skin, oh man. Oh! Oh, 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 look at this. Some clipping issues. Somebody didn't work enough on the skins. <laughs> Oh man, don't get me wrong, They're, like I don't have any hate for the uh, developers at Activision because at the end of the day, by the uh, shit show that is their management about, you know, people getting fired left and right, you know, bad treatment, overworking, I don't know whether that's more Blizzard side or Activision side, but generally speaking, if uh, Activision has record high profits and they decide to fire a shit ton of people, despite that then i'm sorry you know i'm not gonna pity uh, the management i do pity the developers so you know uh that's maybe a little bit from a single uh clipping bug let's say to a very serious topic from uh, you know that escalated pretty quickly but generally speaking i really like the skin i really like it um it's it's clean you know it it it's appealing it has that, you know, it basically has a license because, of course, you know, it's so popular um, from from the movie franchise. Everybody knows this, you know, uh, and that's a little bit the uh, problem that we had with, uh, what was his name again? Okay, uh, totally unscripted, but, for example, this guy, uh, I think he plays a part in the Modern Warfare campaign. I played the campaign No fucking clue You know, Ghost knows everybody from MW2 He has that nostalgia factor um, Price, also from MW2, from MW1 um, You know, he also has a nostalgia factor Although, you know, his, he looks more like a regular military dude Except his cigar, of course, but you don't see it as much because, um, But, you know, Ghost has an iconic mask he looks a little bit cooler, more uh, unique, let's say. Um, so, basically, you know, Billy really looks unique. You know, he, he looks like him, you know, himself. To put it like that. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but like if you put this guy and Leatherface, the other one, next to each other, like most people are gonna prefer this one, and that's okay. Um, everybody, you know, there are probably a bunch of dudes that I know that will mo just buy this one because it looks so fucking ugly, uh, his face. So, but that being said, um, and then of course we have the, uh, the third one, which very experimental. I've, I, you know, I, I don't, don't tend to buy because whenever I make these videos, I don't want to spend 80 bucks. Uh, on these, I don't have a company yet to uh, get it tax free. But like the the I've seen the the, the footage of it online and like what the hell, man! You know, during dark, this isn't just you know a trace round whereby you know a colored uh, bullet shoots out. This is a complete you know it's basically I don't know how to how to describe it. It shoots electricity. Like, it's just a beam, you you see, the, yeah, it's, 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 it's insane, you gotta look it up, or maybe I'll show a clip here, of, of it, it's, it's a really, really, it's a lot, man, it's a lot, <laughs> um, and a throwing knife with a, uh, electric tracer, very nice, and, uh, other than that, uh, the other two uh, skins, so the from Texas Chain Masker, Chainsaw Masker, and the Saw Guy, Billy, both have uh, the uh, you know the, the the franchises behind them. But this guy is completely uh, unknown. I mean, he, he he definitely has an appeal. Um, you know, we had face mask and stuff, but whatever floats your goat. I think if people buy, I think it's more they're gonna buy this for the. Uh, 
uh, voor de tracer uit hier dus de look sick dude they look absolutely sick um, so yeah this is basically the Halloween event all in all um, you know things like that I like things like this it's you know to have more uh, options in the store but I highly doubt a lot of people would buy it um, and I don't know you know so uh oh. Hmm. Oh my apologies, time for me to go. Um, that was my cue to leave. So all in all, it's a uh, you know a cool event, a cool new mode, limited time, a cool limited time treasure hunt. Um, I don't know if we touched, but yeah, we touched about on the skin. It has some cool items that enjoy or enjoyable, but um, yeah. Generally speaking, the licensed skin, man, I, I really feel that this is the future. Um, Fortnite is doing also a killer job with the Marvel and the DC acquirements. PUBG back in the day with Suicide Squad, but meh. Um, like, I feel like this crossover mo from, from uh, multiplayer games that, you know, have loose lore, let's put it like that, you know, not set in stone, um, that are more, you know, arena focused, like has really potential for crossovers and this is just you know ah, I just get uh, goosebumps uh, yeah, yeah I get goosebumps just thinking about it you know how cool it is um, I, you know I wouldn't you know of course we saw the uh, last Jedi uh, release um, no excuse me the uh, uh, Star Wars released uh, what's, the, what's the, the, the ninth movie from JJ um, you know with an exclusive scene for um, uh, in Fortnite itself, which was a weird stuff by itself, you know, a weird moment by itself. But you know, these crossover between like games, music, uh, basically all art forms that are merging with one another, I find that, you know, I find that a really, really um, curious case. I really like that. So that was that this was my uh, little breakdown slash analysis of the um, Halloween event for Warzone or uh, Modern Warfare itself I really hope you enjoyed I really hope you have learned something new uh, my name is Welsko and I will see you in the next one bye bye